last season on Toll Booth. Hello, I'm Dr. Nina Carpenter. I'm a counselor with Saban Drug and Alcohol Rehabilitation Center. Well, your daughters have requested my presence today to assist them with an intervention. They're worried that you have become addicted to alcohol and have also been abusing your medication. Please let down your I'm ready. I'm ready to go to rehab. I can't keep doing this. <laughs> Maya, this is Reese Warren. I own a publishing company, actually, uh, near your uh, hometown of Waterview, Maryland. Um, I got your manuscript on my company's website. Man, and after reading it, I definitely want to get a chance to set up a meeting to talk to you in person uh, to go over possibly publishing uh, your, uh, your book. Reese, I am 37 years old, trying to change careers. I don't have time to start at the ground level. Time? Man, who cares about time, Maya? Man, you have a choice to make right now. You can be the 40-year-old who wakes up in the morning to go to an office to do something they hate, or go to an office to do something that they love. The choice is yours, man. I will call you a little bit later to uh, discuss the revisions. Okay. Yeah. All right. I work for Tim McMillan Construction. You've been coming in as a consultant. If you're interested, just give me a call. All right? You're meant for a little bit more than just etching lawns. Don't you think? I'm Elise Breuer. You are new boss. Well, it's really nice to meet you, Elise. Um, the names that I would like to submit of the employees for separation. But I'm sorry to say you are missing two important names on this list. Who? Walker Harris and Kim wait, Spencer. Wait, what? What are you doing? So, did you find out anything? Not just anything. I have what you've been looking for. I'm about to find out who my real father is. And now, the season premiere of Tollbooth. Darren Kelly? Yeah? You don't know me, but you know my mother, Lana Caldwell. Maiden is Jones. You all met back at a party in late February, early March of 1980. At that party, when you two were together, I was conceived. I'm your daughter. That is not true. Who told you this? Did my brother put you up to this? No one put me up to anything. You're back. Dad, can you give us a hand with a tree? I'm your daughter. Dad, is everything OK? What happened then? Nothing. I just apologized for wasting his time, and I walked away. I know, I know. I just didn't want to get into anything when his daughter showed up. So, so what now? Well, I wrote to him and called. Any response? <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> Coffee? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, you make my... Two sugars and one cream. I get it.
not a Taj Mahal, but I'll let you call it home. So, how can I help you? We never got a chance to formally meet when you came to my father's home. Test for us. I know you are. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Funny thing is, I know a little bit about you as well. By my count, this is what? The fourth residence you've lived in in the past year? No home to your own name. No steady income. Uh, Tess, cut the bullshit! I don't have time for it. Why are you here? Answers. Are you really claiming that you're my father's daughter? Or are you simply after money? Oh, you acting like you're trying to get your ass beat! Look, <laughs> Justine doesn't want anything. All she wanted was to discover her roots. What's the harm in them, right? Next time you come to my father's home, I assume it'll be with proof. Oh, I'm ready for a DNA test when you are, sis. I was hoping you'd say that. I took the liberty of scheduling a DNA test at a local clinic next week. And next time you want to contact my father, I suggest you contact me instead. A lawyer. <laughs> Figures. You really need to learn how to keep your emotions in check. Look, I'm not backing down from anyone. If they're trying to intimidate someone, I'm the wrong one. I got time. You're gonna need more than that. If they do decide to try to discredit you, Darren Kelly was married to Amanda Elias. And I care because... Her family owns this town. The ports in Waterview, banks, you name it. Okay, so what? I'm not about to run scared just because she has a problem with something her ex-hubby did. I'm no threat to them, huh? We have the Peter Winters presentation to prepare for you, Arlene. I'm on my way, Elise. No, it's not my responsibility to chase you down for meetings, Jackson. Yes, I know, and it'll never happen again. Have I done something to offend you, Jackson? This has to do with Kim and Walker. We've been through this already, Elise. Yeah, we have. So why am I still sensing attitude from you? You terminated two well-qualified professionals for nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Kim has found another entry-level position somewhere. And Walker, I mean, <laughs> the handyman jobs around here in Waterview, I mean, they need some tending too. Where are you going? I have someplace else I need to be. Need I remind you what I told you the last time? If you were insubordinate, what would happen? You would fire me. Exactly. Have a seat. Let me make this easy for you. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my notes with me. <laughs> well, that is my company's property. Absolutely right. And now it's trash. Don't you worry. My assistant has another copy. Wait, you fired her. Good luck, Elise.
Is there anyone I can contact? The child's father? No. There's no one. Hey, I've been calling you. My phone just died, that's all. What's wrong? Karen's not doing well. She's getting progressively worse. She caught an infection last week, so we had to stop chemo. I'm so sorry. What's with her now? Uh, we were able to get a nurse to watch her during the day. Do you need anything? Honestly, Maya, I need you. Hey, hey, look at me. I might be imagining things, but it's like we haven't been on the same page since Christmas. You've been going through a lot with Karen, and I just didn't want to get in the way. Okay, even more reason why when you go through something like this, you need to rely on the people that you love. Please. And I didn't say that as an attempt for you to say it back, okay? I love you. There's no surprise. It's how I feel. Look, I know we haven't been on the same page. But it's not just because of Karen's illness. It's me, too. What about? Look, I... It's my mind. It's what I'm going through. I... It's really hard to put into words. Ever since my mom's mental break, I've just started to think. About? My life, my childhood, life with Justine and my parents. And so much. It's really hard to share something with you that I haven't been able to process myself. Okay. I have to go drop off some medication to Karen before I get Luke, so I better go. Okay. But if you need anything, I'm here, okay? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Hey, so how's she doing today? She's not doing good. Well, maybe we can... <coughs> 